the tea with Justine today. We're having goji berry tea. Put that down. Woot. Look at all those goji berries. Before it became trendy and recognized as a superfood, my mom would make us Chinese chicken noodle soup with goji berries when we were sick. So now, you see we can have goji berry tea. Goji berry has all the eight essential amino acids and is high in vitamin A, C, iron, zinc, uh, what else? Fiber. You can also put it in a cereal. You can also put it in a cereal. Which I do that all the time. Which my dad loves, but I don't love it. And all you do is drink it like this all day long. And you can add some lemon or tea leaves if you want, but you can drink it just like this. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm, it has a little bit of a sweet, fresh hint. It's really nice, it's quite light and sweet. And goji berry is also good for your eyes. Goji largely originates from China, and it grows on a vine. And before it's all dried up and shriveled up, it kind of looks like a little cherry tomato. It's also apparently part of the same family that potatoes, tomatoes, and eggplants, and chili peppers are all a part of. Interesting, right? I like to eat them too. Kind of tastes like raisins with a bunch of tiny little seeds. So. You can easily make this tea for yourself. You can turn this into a nice iced tea and it's already got a natural sweetness to it so you don't need added sugar. Here's another healthy tea. Very easy just to get a small handful of goji berries, pour some hot water over it and there you go. Goji berry tea. Let that goji fill you with goodness. It's goji goodness. It's like a nice beverage and a sweet little snack, all in one. Got some tea and some goji berries to eat. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Goji berry tea. See y'all next time. Toodles. Uh-oh. My gojis are stuck. Got him.